The overall goal of this procedure is to use the cross-modal congruency task as an objective measure in the rubber hand illusion paradigm. First, the rubber hand illusion is induced using synchronous brush stroking of a viewed rubber hand while the participant's own hand is hidden from view. The participants are then asked to discriminate tactile targets while viewing light distractors in the so-called cross-modal congruency task. Brush stroking is repeated before every trial, and this is repeated at least 60 times. The final step is to run a control condition where the illusion is not induced using asynchronous brush stroking. Ultimately, the cross-modal congruency task is used to show changes in multi-sensory processing that are critical for modulations of body representations, as in the rubber hand illusion. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like weighting scales, proprioceptive drift, and physiological measurements, is that the cross-modal congruency task can be used as an objective measure, one which is less susceptible to observer and experimental biases and adaptive physiological processes. Our participant today will be Marina Butko. The rubber hand illusion, or RHI, uses a box that covers the participant's own hand while presenting a view of an artificial hand. The artificial hand does not have to be made out of rubber, here a prosthesis is used. Two soft brushes are used to stroke the hands. Experimental software provides timing signals via headphones for delivering the brush strokes. <laughs> 